Hello racing fans, welcome back to the channel. It is all about racing. In today's video, we are going to take a look at two Porsche 911 RXRs, both in the exact same liveries, uh, but the sister car is the number 92 car, a die-cast model from the folks at IXO, and the number 91 car, a resin model from the folks at Spark Models. The IXO model, as you see here, is mounted on this plastic base. Uh, this is the Porsche 911 RSR number 92, that driven by Michael Christensen, Kevin Estery, and Lawrence Vanthor in Le Mans 24 of 2019. This was a special edition one-off livery, uh, that in which they replaced the red stripe, commonly on this car at that time, with a gold stripe, the gold wing, and the gold mirrors. Uh, this car comes with an acrylic jewel box that you see here, along with a limited edition uh, box. Uh, folks, you've, you've heard this from me before, and I'll just say it once again, in case you haven't seen any other videos. I do question the validity of a model that says it's limited edition if it doesn't come with adequate uh, proof of it, i.e. a certificate like you get with the Tarmac Works cars or uh, something on the base or the car itself with a specific number of, of a series of, let's say, 1,000 or 2,000 respectively. On the other hand, the Spark model, uh, very much like its sister car, also comes on a plastic base. Uh, it too has an acrylic jewel box as well as, in this case, a gold uh, box, uh, which is part of the Porsche dealership limited edition. You'll notice the box also has an attractive color picture of the car in the background. Something really neat, I think, that makes it somewhat unique. This too is a limited edition model and does have the proof of it on the base, noting that this is no number 1083 out of 2000 of, of 19. Also, one thing that I do like about the Spark car is the fact that it notes that the special liberty uh, was, in, I guess you could say, in celebration of the WEX Super Season 28-2019, uh, in which uh, Porsche won the Constructors' Championship. The IXO model, on the other hand, shows nothing about that except the fact that this was a Porsche 92 uh, that ran in the 24 hours of Le Mans in 2019. The IXO model, being the number 92 model, does have the white window banner along with a gold wing and with white end caps on it. The sister car, the number 91 car, has a black windshield banner with white print as well as a black end cap on a rear wing that is gold with white print. Both models are very similar in virtually all respects, however there are subtle differences between the two. Consequently, we will take a look at those. Uh, specifically, looking at the IXO model, you'll note that uh, details on this are very, very good. In fact, they're kind of exceptional for a, an IXO model. The wheel detail is very, very good. you got black Michelin tires, uh, uh, along with the black wheels, brake rotors. You've got very, very nice decal work on the car. The finish, for the most part, looks very, very good. There are some minor problems with it, uh, uh, namely just... A little bit, I think, maybe a, a bit of a chip over there on the front rear well. If you take a look at the rest of the car, the the uh, the roof aerial are impressive uh, and decals very good, with the exception of the driver's names, which come a little too close to the edge of the window sill itself, uh, not more in the center where they should be. The Spark model, on the other hand, also has excellent wheels, as you kind of expect from a Spark model. Finish is good all the way around. Uh, decal work on it is excellent. Unlike the IXO model, the names of the drivers are squarely where they should be, virtually in the middle of the, uh, the window uh, sill, respectively. Aerial display, although not as dramatic as that of the IXO, I think is still very, very good. 
This is a good head-on view of both cars from the front. As you can see from a distance, they look very, very similar. However, when you get closer, you can see some distinct differences between the two. First, we'll take a look at the IXO, which for the most part looks very, very good. The grille work is nice. Uh, you have good-looking headlights, not exceptional, but good. Your fog lights that you see beneath the, uh, uh, the headlights are just decals on this car. They are not actual plastic insert itself. You do have rather small dive planes on each side, and the nose, for the most part, looks very, very good. On the Spark model, you also have a very, very good-looking grille. You can see it does have fog lights that are actually plastic inserts. They are not decals, and the headlights on the car are look much more realistic than do that of the IXO. And this is the difference, I think, when you spend about $80 on a car as opposed to $50 on the other. Looking at both cars from the rear also show several similarities. If you take a closer look at the IXO, you'll see that the finish overall is very, very good. You have a nice, massive rear diffuser on it. You've got tailpipes, you've got the red tow hook, and you have tail lights that look very, very good until you look at that of the Spark model. Looking at the rear diffuser, very nicely done, as well as the cover on the engine bay. If you take a look at the Spark model, again, you have a very good and a very nice looking rear diffuser. You've got tailpipes that have the aluminum heat shield underneath them, some, a detail that you do not see on the IXO model. Again, you have the tow hook. And take a close look at the tail lights, which look substantially better and more realistic than that on the IXO model. Rear wing looks very, very sharp, attractive. Engine bay, excellent as well. Viewing both cars from the top, you can hardly tell the difference between either one of them as they look almost identical. The only difference is being the opposites of the livery. Again, notice the white windshield banner on the IXO model on the left, the black one with white print uh, on the Spark model on the right. Also notice that the Spark model windshield banner is not quite as deep as it is on the IXO. Quite frankly, I'm not sure which one is more correct in that manner. Uh, the rear wings, both are gold. However, you do have white print on that of the, uh, of the Spark model as opposed to black print on that of the IXO. Also, your rear end plates on both cars on the rear wing are black, but you have white accents on that of the IXO and black on that of the Spark model. I've got to tell you, with the exception of a couple of the, uh, the minor, uh, I guess you could call them quality control issues with the IXO model. This is the closest that I have seen an IXO come to the Spark. I mean, both of these cars are very, very good. Uh, they're well done. Uh, finish on both of them is, I think, is exceptional. You do have a you know a couple of small paint issues on that of the IXO model, as well as the decal problem with the uh, with the drivers' names, but otherwise very comparable as well. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.